Well, hello, farming friends, and welcome back to another edition of Farming Simulator 2015 with me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. And today we are back on Manchester. You guys seem to really like this map, so we're going to go ahead and get back going on it. And today we are going to do a little um, harvesting of corn uh, for silage uh, or chaff. Uh, so what we're going to do today is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to run over here. Field 14 is ready to harvest with corn, and so is 18. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rent a forage harvester, and uh, we're going to run over there and get 14 and 18 cleaned out and get that corn put into the silage bunker for uh, chaff, or put that chaff in to make some silage. Anyways, anyhow you want to look at it. So, uh, yeah, so that's the game plan anyway. So we're going to rent a uh, forage harvester, I got a bunch of different options here. We could go into the mods uh, and get one out of here. I've got a Jaguar uh, that we haven't used. Um, but I know a lot of y'all want to see the new stuff. Um, so I think. Well, maybe I don't have. There's the Jaguar. Um, so, anyways, I think what we'll just do is go ahead and use the in game stuff. Uh, use the DLC that we just got. So let's run over here. I haven't used this in forever. We could use that. We could save a lot of money and use that. And uh, let's see. Or we can go with this guy. I think we'll just go with that guy. Uh, why am I trying to buy it? I'm going to rent it for two hours. Two hours will be plenty. So we'll rent that, and we're going to rent the head for it as well, and we'll get going. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Any day now. Come on. It takes so long to get this rental done. I mean, the rental on the piece of machinery will be done before it gets me back into the right main screen. Come on. There we go. All right. And we need the header for it. So come on over here. And let's see. We used the... Did we use the new Holland branded one the last time? We used the Kemper this time. Oh, man. Did I really do that? <clears throat> I can't believe I just did that. Why would I go and purchase it? Anyways, I gotta go to the store anyways to get that. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna run in here. And the first thing I need to do is go ahead and set up some routes for these guys. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna use the, these guys to uh, to bring the chaff back to the farm. And to dump it. So. Run this guy over to field 14 and we'll get going here oops not calibrated somebody asked me in the uh, notes if I use a, a steering wheel uh, no I use a gamepad uh, to play with Alright, so if memory serves me right, we are headed here, to the left a little bit, up this little road, and that's where our field is going to be. Yep. Alright, PDA away. So this is our field we're going to be harvesting. 
right here. So I want to record my route off of it. Is there a ditch here or is this just level? It's just level. Good. Alright. So is there a road up between the two of these, I wonder? Nope. There's no road between the two of them. Alright. So what we'll do is I'll just record my route right here in course play and we'll get started so start recording and we're just gonna drive a little course back to the farm through our silage bunker and then uh, back to the field so my game plan is just to use two tractors uh, let them uh, run in there, track the uh, track the forage harvester, and then just alternate back and forth. I could use the uh, I could use the uh, hopper for the forage harvester, but I just decided this time I'm just going to use two tractors. So with both of our field, all of our fields are planted and we're still on day two. The reason we're doing this is just because it is day two and I'm not ready to go to day three yet uh, because we do have several hours of working time available. All right, so we'll just pull into here, drive through, and then we'll have our tractor Turn back around, come out, and then make the return back to the field. That simple, right? So anyways, that's about it right this moment. So yeah, I've done it every other way. I've used the bunker. I've done it this way. I've done it the other way. Like I said, um, and I, I'm not going to use the semis just because it's not something we would use here. Now, I mean, again, you can use whatever you want where you're at um, and in your gameplay, but for me, I'm just trying to keep it more like what I would see here at my home and in my area. And we wouldn't walk big, huge semis uh, into the field. Dump trucks, yes. Semis, no. And instead of pulling in right there, what I'll do is come up here. I know this isn't proper, but it'll work. And we have it wait right here. Which is probably too close to the field, but that's okay. Alright, so we'll stop this, and this is field 14, and we'll have this saved. 
F field fourteen. Yay, I typed a K. Alright, so that's saved. And I can leave this guy sitting here. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, let's tab through and find this guy. Get him started. So we'll bring this guy over here to the field. And then I'll go get my other vehicle and bring it over here as well. Do, do, do. Wow. It's going to be tough. Look at that fence line right there. Alright. So, I will go ahead and uncompact this head. So let's go ahead and unfold that. Let's go ahead and get our pipe up in the air. All that good stuff. Pipe up. And then I'm going to go get one more tractor set up. And I think I will use... I should have used, in the beginning, I should have used this guy right here. Because it's got more weight and... Uh, was a better choice anyways but I wanted to use the case all right so this guy is going to be our uh, our second truck and we're just gonna use the forge wagon for it and I could set up a third and a fourth if I wanted to but we're not gonna need to because it's not gonna need that much Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and for this guy, I'm going to clear out his stuff. And I'm going to select the chaffed course. And I'm going to go ahead and get him set up. Uh, he's going to be doing combine work. And he's going to be following that course. Uh, we'll put it four wheel drive. Combine he is going to use. The new Holland. That should be it, right? There should be only three. The new Holland. Alright, so if I take him, get him out here on the road, and tell him to drive course, he'll be just fine. Alright, so get this guy set up now. He's doing the same thing. Combine, automatic search. We're doing the new Holland. Full drift active, drive course, and get into this guy, and let's get going. Uh, I knew he'd want to come over there question is can I get this fence and him not hit a fence and the answer to that is a resounding no Let's see if I can get him to change sides do 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 driver side right Let's see if I can get him off of there I'm going to have to undo him. He flat messed this up, didn't he?
He's completely hung. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. What I may have to do is just inch forward on this until I get clear of everything else. We should be good. Drive course. Come on, buddy. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you seriously? What a cluster. So this guy runs into the fence. This guy sits here. Somehow everything changed its mind. Alright, so now I've got to move everything. What the... What the was that? Holy cow! <laughs> I have seen it all now. All right, it looks like the with this guy turned off, it looks like the case is reacquiring. So let's see if it will pull up and get in the right position or if it too will run into the fence. It will. Oh, stupid, stupid, stupid AI. It really you have to be this freaking dumb. Solution. Solution, solution, solution. I just run this side manually until the uh, until the combine gets to the point where these poles and everything are out of the way, and then I can put it all in course play. What about that fin flipping in the air like that? That's hysterical. So yeah, I'll just run this guy uh, to the end of this row, and then we'll stop, and I will uh, I'll get the automation set back up because I want to drive the combine or the uh, harvester and let the AI do the hauling. Now, that was my intentions, anyways. So let's let that new haul in make its turn. If I try it right here, it's going to run into a pole or something. Do something stupid, so. Alright, let's see if I can get in here. Stop it. Let's go ahead and enable course play on this. So drive course and jump into here and make sure I'm right side or left side on this now. Left side. 
if he will find something else to run into. Boom! Stupid, stupid shit. Every day. Uh, I can't get away from it. Uh, if there's something to run into, it's going to. Alright, you are clearly right behind the freaking combine. Pull up and pull next to it. Thank you. Moron. Everything situated here so I can actually do this and we'll get going. So I haven't driven this one, so I mean, I've done a little bit with it, but not enough. Driving through somebody's wheat field there. It's a really good animation on that chaff coming out of there. Oh, let's see, 79%. Everybody keeps asking me what information I'm using to uh, to get the um, the data from the other vehicles. It's Glance, uh, and I've done a video before on it. Um, it seems like I have to reiterate the same things over and over and over every other day. So yeah, I use Glance. I use a gamepad to play with. Um, I'm using drive control, track IR. Yeah. It's funny, I do. I answer the same questions over and over and over again. And I try not to lose my mind doing it. Um, because I appreciate the fact that people are interested. Alright, so that guy is full. We can tab over to this guy. And actually get him going now. How we lost the course on that, I don't know. Run the course. The New Holland. Of course, he's sitting in the way of that one. Uh, let's see. Four wheel drive is activated. So if I go ahead and tell you to drive course, you should be able to get over there and take care of business. Alright, so that guy's going to go dump his load, and we are going to sit here and wait for the Fent to show up, and then we will get going again. Man, i got to take my thumb off of that joystick. I keep wanting to turn with it, and not with the track IR. Alright, we're good. So yeah, if y'all are into forage harvesting of corn, this is going to be a sorry video for you. Let him make his turn. Come on, buddy. A little unrealistic there, but okay.
So yeah, this is what we're doing today. Uh, it's just uh, getting some corn in for the silage. I know we just planted a bunch of corn, uh, but uh, yeah. Now will he back out of that and get off of it? Or are we going to have an issue here? It's like he's going to turn off of it. Ooh, I thought it for sure I was going to be getting out and fixing that one. Sweet. I toyed around with how to do this when I toyed around with getting the bunker and just using one tractor to chase back and forth. Um, I think the bunker is a lot more efficient. Uh, I think when you put the bunker in, you don't have any issues with vehicles running into walls and stuff like that. Because by the time you fill your bunker up, you've got... Usually you've got space beside you for the uh, the chase vehicle to come in and uh, and unload you. But I uh, after thinking about it, I decided, well, I'll just I'll use two tractors and do something different because I haven't. Not everybody has that bunker, and uh, I haven't done it this way in a while. I did forget to set up my speed, uh, my my transition numbers though, so I might need to do that real quick. Because when that case gets back, he's going to immediately come into the field probably and uh, cause problems. So we're going with this row right here. So if you haven't done this, the easiest way to do it and know that you're getting a good straight line is uh, line up your outside edge and get it and then look dead center where the clear row is in front of you and you can just point straight down it and having that little white bar sticking out in front is a real good uh, Pathfinder for you. Oop, I missed two. Can't leave some uh, stragglers behind. No corn left behind. That's our motto. That looks good right there. Set the cruise control. Now see here he comes running into the field. I've got him set way too high. Um, so let's fix that real quick on both of his trucks. Alright, so what I'm talking about is in your settings. No, it's in here. In your combine mode settings. Start at 50%, drive on at 90%. I want to put that start at, I want to raise it on up to about 90%. Uh, that way, when they come back, they'll sit and wait um, for whatever combine, whatever tipper is actually harvesting. They'll wait for it to get to 90% full before they drive into the field. Which, that way, you don't have a parade behind you uh, and run the risk of the two of them running into each other uh, out in the field. So, this guy here, I need to do the same thing with him. And I'll just come to him. And I'll crank him up to 90%. And that means he'll sit in one spot until this guy gets to 90%. So, usually, again, it's been a while since I've done it this way. So, I forgot to turn those on and set those numbers that way. It really doesn't hurt. But as you see, you'll have a little parade going in the field. Which is kind of cool looking uh, when you think about it. Um, but, at the same time... It opens yourself up for somebody to run into somebody. And um, I always hate that. I 
but they do do a pretty good job of just following and not running into one another 96 percent 97 this guy will drive off any second now there we go and off he goes and the next guy will pull uh, right on up it's funny because he follows the other tractor perfectly but then when he decides it's time to come in he has to juke behind this thing and pick up where he wants to be at so it's kind of silly all right so we'll just continue to run on down through here and get this harvest done now again when the when the fit returns back to the field he will actually sit in the field and wait Ooh, how did I miss that row got to get that cleaned um, he'll actually sit on the side of the field and wait oh that's not good um, for uh, the case to reach 90% uh, before he comes out there Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Come on, dude. Seriously? How did I lose him? <sighs> no, the combine's not telling you to stop. You're an idiot. But the combine told me to stop, boss. Boss, he said stop, so I stopped. Get over here. We can tell which driver's a little bit smart and which one's a little bit dumb. Because that guy, if he had hit that rail, he'd have stuck on it. So we'll continue to grab this field. I'm going to stick with this row right here. I don't. I must have drifted in on the last cut. Try and get it straight, and then we'll just go from there. Well, I really must have drifted in. I try to follow the same furrow every time. I don't know. The harvester doesn't necessarily cut a straight line either. It will take out chunks in and out. See how it took a big chunk in right here? And then it drops back out. So you can't really necessarily go by the furrow that much that's what I'm going by today so this round I'm only going to take a couple of rows off to the left side of it which is highly inefficient but this is the way I'm going to do it for now on my next pass down this way everything will be right
So anyways, I thought we'd come back to Manchester. Uh, Coldboro was nice change. We'll get back to it. We'll do a few days on Manchester, and then we'll go there. We will be uh, we will be doing forestry over the weekend, though. Um, and I talked to Recon last night, and hopefully uh, this evening when he gets home, he and I will record some forestry. And uh, so we'll have some forestry video for this weekend. Uh, multiplayer forestry, hopefully. Uh, it just depends, but uh, that was the conversation we had last night, was that uh, we were going to do a nice long recording session this evening. So hopefully that's what happens. Alright, so you can see the case is sitting there in the field right now, not doing anything. in the case that was the fence I'm an idiot and he's still over there which is good all right he's a hundred percent he will pull off and we'll grab the fence and we'll continue on so yeah I want to get a reminder, guys. The uh, if you're interested in this map, the link to it is in the show notes, as well as you'll see a link to a spreadsheet for mods I use. If you have any questions about any of the mods that I'm using, all the links to them are in that uh, spreadsheet. Um, it's pretty up to date. There's maybe a handful that I haven't put in there yet, but there are also mods that. I'm really unsure of so I haven't put them on there because I'm not officially using them yet so but that'll save you a little time and agony there's there's pretty much the name of the mod as it appears in your folder uh, the description of the mod which will basically say what it is like vent tractor or bale trailer or something like that and then the link to where you can find it and uh... that's that i gotta add a tab in and start putting all of my uh... gta 5 mods in there for gta 5 Excuse me. I don't know where that came from this morning. As you guys can tell, I am recording this at noon on Friday. Uh, the wind was up a little bit today, so I knew I was going to be home for the day, so I didn't do anything this morning. I uh, slept in, which is a rarity for me. I rarely sleep in. I did this morning. I didn't get up until 9 o'clock, which is crazy. He's going to do it too? What is with this? And I just talked so good about you not being retarded. And yet you're going to be retarded. Yeah, 
That guy's dumped. Dude, what is your problem? Suddenly. It's crazy how they can run perfect for, you know, so long and then all of a sudden they can't do anything right. Well, he's there with me now. I keep meaning to go get an update to course play and I haven't. I need to do that today. Problem is I think about it, then I say something about it in the video. I wrap up the video, then I immediately go to process the video, which takes, you know, a little bit of time to get the editing done and everything and then get it processing. And as soon as I finish processing it, then I like have totally forgotten about course play or an update or modifying a controller or something like that it hits me while I'm in the middle of the game doing a recording but then afterwards I'm like eh, you know last thing on my mind phone starts ringing people got things they want done oops I missed a couple pieces there um, I drifted a little bit. good getting it done okay he makes his turn Eh, just trying to get a screenshot for the thumbnail. Alrighty. Whoa, 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 buddy. Holy shnikes. I get it, you're full. You're in a hurry. Man, don't run me over. And, of course, that messed the case up. Everybody mess up? Where's he going? What in the world is he doing? Seriously, where is he going? <laughs> what is happening? What in the world is happening? Stop driver. Drive course. Thank you. Stop driver. Drive course. Holy cow, that was hilarious. This has been a day of follies, hasn't it? First the fence flips up in the air like an idiot. And then just drives off into nowhere. Definitely need a course play update. Alright. 
Holy cow, that was crazy. It's just like, eh, I'm going to make an abrupt right-hand turn and go off wherever I see fit. So yeah, this video will be a little late getting out today, but it's no big deal. I, uh, I'll wrap it up here shortly after we finish this field. I'll wrap it up and um, we'll uh, I'll get it processed and everything else like that. If I get it cooked by 1.30, 2 o'clock I'll have it up by 3 or 4 o'clock my time, which is about two hours later than I normally try to have it up. I usually try to have the videos up. Um, I usually try to get them up around uh, 2 o'clock my time, uh, which is 3 Eastern, 2 Central. Three Eastern, two Central, twelve Pacific. I don't know what what comes over me sometimes. So, knock out this corn, and then we'll get this video over with. Uh, let's see. Probably the next video in this series, we'll go ahead and fast track time to day three. Uh, and then we can assess all of the fields, what need to be done with that. Uh, the two that we just planted, they're going to need weed prevention, obviously, um, and water, uh, because tomorrow's forecast is for another 22C day, so that means uh, we're going to have to, we're going to lose another 14% in water, so, or 14 points in water. those fields are going to be pretty dry. Rather than have him screw up, I'm just going to go up here and cut back in. Close enough of a distance to not worry about it.
Whoops. Now he's full and left properly. Here comes old Glitch. We'll see what he decides to do. Still no really cool mods. Checked again today. I did go ahead and download that McCormick uh, tractor yesterday. I haven't looked at it yet, but it just piqued my curiosity. I think one of the reasons why is um, I just recently went to a uh, FFA show, and um, at that FFA show, they had a whole bunch of guys that. Uh, well, basically, they had teamed up a bunch of kids uh, that were in FFA, and they had teamed them up together, and their project was to completely restore a classic tractor. And um, one of the kids had done it, one of the groups had done a McCormick, and man, it looks so good. It was one of those situations where when you look at it, you think, I got to get up in that thing. I got to take it for a spin. And... Uh, Wish I coulda, but couldn't. There were some great looking tractors there, though. And, uh, this kid's had done a great job. One of them, and I think it was the McCormick. I think it was it. Had, um, someone had repowered it back in the day. Put a bigger engine on it. And they had to actually, part of their project was it had to be to spec. And so they had actually had to go out and get the motor the original motor for it and get it back within the proper horsepower that it was supposed to be which was uh which was pretty interesting that's uh quite a challenge to find something from back in the 20s and 30s to find a uh to find the parts to get it back to find an engine for it there were some great looking tractors though I just like the old tractors. The new tractors are great. They got a lot of bells and whistles on them. And they're fun. But, I don't know. There's something about old tractors. Um, you know. They're just, they're just cool. It's a completely different beast to drive one of them than it is one of the new tractors. Especially if it's only like a three-wheeler. And we've talked about three-wheelers before uh, in the videos. And how scary they can be.
we just about got this field wrapped up. I gotta get back over there and catch that strand over there that I let slide. So make our turn here. And we'll come back in and plow this. We'll cut this area down. And then we'll come back and catch that strand there that we missed. And all will be good. So I still want to jump over and cut field number uh, 19. There's no sense in letting it just wither and go to waste. So we'll just uh, we'll just say that we gave the farmer a little bit of money, and because he wasn't going to be able to do anything with it, and that's how we got all this corn. Yes, I know I didn't purchase this field, but. Didn't want to let it go to waste. Whoa. He just did the same thing that other one did. What is up with that? And now he's freaking out just like the other one did. Stop. Drive course. Drive now. What is up with this guy? He's lost again. Oh, this is stupid. It's the same tractor, too. It's the Fent doing it. I don't know what's up with that. See if he'll drive it now that he's headed towards it. Weird. Boy, he gets to 100%. He flat out wants to just run you over and uh, head to the hills. Here, grab this little bit of corn that's left and then we'll send the case to go dump are those two stocks grab this group here and this field will be clear Time being. Cool. Alright, so that's that. Jump into here. Send the driver home. Let him go dump what little bit he's got in there out. And we will pack up this guy. least go ahead and move him over to the other field get my beacon turned on put my pipe up I don't need it out while I'm driving down the road or rip it off So I think we're headed way back here to the back.
All right. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and do any more cutting today. I think I'm just going to wrap this video up. Go ahead and get it processed and get it up for you guys because it is 1230. Um, but anyways, we'll, uh, we'll come back. And uh, I will probably cut this off screen just to get it cut and over into the silage bunker. Uh, and then we'll... Uh, next video, we'll come back. I'll compact it. Uh, get it wrapped up and then uh, we'll get into day three which will be some spraying and doing some stuff like that um, and we'll get that done and uh, get moving forward on everything that we got going on so anyways hope you guys liked the video hope you enjoyed it we'll uh what's with the gravel pit down here can you actually haul gravel on this map I mean, put it in there. It would be cool if you could actually do the the whole gravel thing. All right. So, anyways, uh, we're here. I'm gonna shut this down. I've got to move the tractors over and all that other stuff. But, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do do a new I do blah, 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 blah. I do do a new video every single day, and uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, I got all my, uh, by the way, I did go ahead and get all of my, um, um, Euro truck updated yesterday so I can start doing some more Euro truck videos. Uh, got the new version of Pro Mods installed and, uh, I hadn't put all the DLC stuff in. I've got all that in now. So, uh, we'll probably start kicking out some new, uh, Euro truck videos, uh, pretty soon as well. So, all right. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.